The Chase Sapphire Reserve is a powerful credit card that gets you free lounge access, free food, free drinks, free travel, and even free wedding planning? This powerful credit card offers tremendous value and a satisfying metal clink sound at the end of every dining experience. With a new 80,000 point bonus, I believe it is the perfect time for me to give my full thoughts on this premium travel card. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. On this channel, everyone knows that I love talking about free stuff. And boy, does the Chase Sapphire Reserve come with free stuff. If you like free stuff as much as I do, you can do a huge favor to me by hitting the like button down below, subscribing, and turning on notifications to help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much for your support. In terms of getting a travel credit card that awards you with tremendous value, the Chase Sapphire Reserve does not disappoint. It carries a $550 annual fee, which puts it squarely in the premium category range along with the American Express Platinum, the Venture X, and the US Bank Altitude Reserve. The annual fee, of course, is offset by the multiple benefits that this card offers. Keep in mind, though, that this card is subject to the 524 rule. This means if you have signed up for five credit cards in the past 24 months, you will be automatically declined. You will also be automatically declined for this card if you are a current holder of a Sapphire card, like the original Sapphire or the Chase Sapphire Preferred. This is due to Chase's one Sapphire policy. In terms of benefits, there are so many reasons to get this card. These include a sign-on bonus, credits to offset the annual fee, rewards multipliers, free subscription memberships, travel benefits, purchase protection, concierge service, and synergy with your other Chase credit cards. Also note that if you have received a bonus on a Sapphire card in the last 48 months, you will not be eligible for this bonus. As of recording this video, this card comes with an 80,000 point sign-on bonus worth $1,200 when redeemed through the travel portal. This is awarded after $4,000 in spend in the first three months. This sounds like a large amount of spending, but it is certainly doable. And if you want me to make a video about how to meet these high spend requirements, let me know in the comments down below. Because this card comes with a steep $550 annual fee, it is to be expected that you would get credits from this card to help offset that. The first credit is a $300 travel credit, which is the most flexible travel credit of any travel card. This $300 credit can be used for purchases outside the travel portal, such as with airlines and hotels directly. This allows you to concurrently take advantage of status benefits while using the credit. The $300 travel credit is also extremely broad and includes things like public transportation, ride shares, tolls, and vacation rentals, in addition to your standard hotels, airlines, and rental cars. This extremely broad definition already helps me use this credit through my regular daily spending, bringing the effective annual fee down to $250. In addition, this card also gives you a $100 credit to cover the cost of global entry or TSA pre-check once every four years. If you already have it, you could also use this credit on friends or family as well. For Instacart, you were given $180 per year broken up into $15 per month increments. This credit does not roll over, so you need to make sure that you use it every month if you use Instacart. Similarly, you get a $120 credit with GoPuff. This credit does not roll over. Lastly, you get a $60 credit with DoorDash. This credit does roll over for up to three months, so it allows you to store up to $15 in credits. In total, with the credits, you get an annual benefit of $685 per year, completely offsetting the annual fee and then some on the credits alone. Now that we've looked at all the credits, let's look at the rewards multipliers. The Chase Sapphire Reserve gets very generous multipliers. You will get 10x back on hotels and rental cars through the Chase Travel Portal. You will get 10x back on prepaid dining booked through Chase Dining. And until March 2025, you will get 10x back on Lyft rides. You will also get 5x back on flights booked through the Travel Portal. For point multipliers outside of Chase Ultimate Rewards, you will get 3x back on travel, and remember that the definition of travel is extremely broad. Keep in mind that for the travel expenses, you will only begin earning rewards after you use the $300 credit. You will also get 3x back on dining, including fast food and food delivery services. Next, you have free subscriptions. In addition to the credits you receive for both, you are also given a free subscription to DoorDash DashPass and Instacart Plus. 
DashPass typically costs $96 per year. This offers reduced service fees and no delivery fees for orders over $12. Instacart Plus is a $100 a year service that similarly gives you reduced service fees and no delivery fees for orders over $35. Next up on the list, we have travel benefits and protections. The Chase Sapphire Reserve gives you access to the Visa Infinite Luxury Hotel and Resort Collection. This is a particular travel portal that gives you access to all the best luxury resorts all around the world. It also tends to include credits for dining and resort experiences. Next, the Chase Sapphire Reserve offers you Priority Pass Select, which gives you unlimited access to airport lounges for you and two guests. You also gain access to Priority Pass restaurants, where you and a guest can each get $28 to spend on food and drinks. And I can personally confirm that I have used this benefit twice in one day when going to different restaurants. And trust me, the restaurants don't care. They would actually prefer that you use it. A Priority Pass membership of this level usually costs $429 a year. To add on, you also gain access to a variety of travel protections, such as primary rental car coverage means you do not have to tell your insurance if you are in an accident with a rental car. You also gain access to trip delay reimbursement, trip cancellation or interruption insurance, and travel accident insurance. To add on to the travel protections, you also get purchase protections with this card. For all new purchases, you get 120 days of protection from theft and damage up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000 per account. This card also gives you a free extended warranty and extends the US manufacturer warranty by an additional year on eligible warranties of three years or less. Now remember what I said about free wedding planning at the beginning of the video? The next benefit that comes with the Chase Sapphire Reserve is a concierge service by Visa Infinite. Concierge services are so frequently under-discussed. People seem to write them off as tacked-on benefits that get very little use. However, concierge services are really useful and will help you research and buy goods and services on your behalf. This can be very useful when you are traveling and are looking to find and book activities or other things to do. The concierge service is even there to help you book services and activities that cannot be paid by credit cards such as when the concierge service booked a horseback riding trip for my wife and I and the instructor only took checks. It can also do research for you on matters that don't require spending money at all, such as when they were able to find a photo shoot location for my wedding. In fact, I use this service extensively when planning my wedding and the value of the time and stress that I saved is immeasurable. If you ever get access to the Visa Infinite Concierge, I highly recommend that you give them a call next time you are about to do an extensive Yelp research campaign. They may surprise you. The last reason why you would want to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve is that this card is the centerpiece of the famous Chase Trifecta. So let's say for example you already have the Chase Freedom Unlimited. This card earns a minimum of 1.5% cash back on purchases, but lacks one-to-one -one travel partners and bonuses when redeeming for travel through Chase. The 1.5% is actually 1.5 ultimate rewards points, and now they are worth 2.25% back because the Chase Sapphire Reserve gives you a 50% boost. Similarly, the 5% categories of the Chase Freedom Flex now become worth 7.5% back. This is because between the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Freedom Flex, and the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you are able to pool your points together to give all of your cards more value. In conclusion, if anyone has been keeping count so far, this card packs over $1,300 in value in the first year alone, not even including the bonus. With the bonus, you can receive nearly $2,500 or more in value. All of this for a $550 annual fee card. This is a complete no-brainer for anyone that can take advantage of the perks and credits. Between the rewards categories, the industry-leading travel and purchase protections, increased value of Chase Ultimate Rewards points, and the multitude of perks, the Chase Sapphire Reserve is one of the best credit cards on the market today. What do you think about the Chase Sapphire Reserve? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe down below to see future content. You can also help support the channel by checking out the referral links down below, like one for Rakuten, where you can receive $40 for just signing up and making a purchase. You can also receive a $50 statement credit if you apply for the Discover It card with the referral link down below. That's it for today. I'm going to use this card to get some free stuff.